Hi there! Today we'll be using up some scraps to make a tech set. Let's start with the die cutting. The dies I'll be using are pinpoint main street tags, the biggest and the smallest one from the set, fancy celebrate, pinpoint dome tag decorations, one of the round parts will be die cut out of vellum. And uh, Theo Butterfly. All those dies are by Poppy Stamps. I'm sending them all uh, through my Grand Caliber and uh, I'm done with the die cutting all in one go. Next, I am positioning the stencil called Flutter on top of the tag. This stencil is by Memory Box. I am masking off the areas close to the edge because I want the pinpoint edge to be completely clean. And now I am applying some white glossy texture paste to make dimensional butterflies. I will set it aside to dry for a little while. To make a pocket for a gift card, I am gluing the die cut sentiment on a vellum piece. To emboss it, I'll be using my Swiss Dots folder by Cuttlebug and a 2mm stylus. Working on a wrong side, I'm poking all the dots, making sure not to touch the pinpoint edge as well as the die cut celebrate word. Here is the result. You can see that the edge and the sentiment are clean while the rest of the surface is embossed. To complete the tag, I am sticking down the decorative reinforcement ring and punching a hole using my cro crocodile tool. To attach a pocket, I am applying a tiny amount of glossy accent. The vellum I am using is quite thick, so the glue will not really show through. I am slightly shaping the butterfly wings with my fingers and attaching it to, to a tag pocket. To make a bow, I am wrapping a ribbon around the quilling comb and tying it with a piece of twine. Now I am uh, also going to add a glass bead to decorate a bow. After that, I'm tying a bow to a longer piece of ribbon and then I'll be attaching it to a tag. You can see that a standard size plastic card can be easily slipped in and out of the pocket.
Well, I should have done this before, but it's never too late, so let's attach a tiny name tag to the bow. To use more of the scraps that I had, I've made some more tags to give them as a set. And here are the close-ups of the finished project. You can see that I've also inked up the edges for a more finished look. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Bye-bye!